Optimist is the faith that leads to achievement. Nothing can be done without hope and confidence. What was that comment about the people, all the people in Starbucks being soft? At this particular <laughs> Starbucks, I just noticed that everybody here is, I would describe them as soft. But I take that back. There's a couple of people I see. <laughs> <clears throat> We love us. We love us some Starbucks. We do. I think this is going to be our new tradition. Every time we go to see manufacturers, we're going to come home with like Starbucks thing. Babe, what do you think in general about that trip? So we went to see a manufacturer. Mm -hmm. Another one. What, what do you? How do you feel? What's like? I feel good. Um, that particular manufacturer, they didn't do everything that I had hoped they would do. Um, they came off as, <clears throat> hold on, let me clear my throat. <clears throat> Sorry, they came off as a, like a full kind of in-house thing um, from A to Z, fin uh, start to finish, um, but they aren't, which, you know, isn't bad or anything, uh, but like for instance, we would have to do our own patterns, designs, tech pack, that whole thing and submit it to them. We would have to do the whole like supplier thing, like sending it to if, suppliers. If we use fabrics outside their very limited range, we have to ship it in, do it ourselves. To ship it to Amazon, we have to get our own UPC codes and like put them on the, uh, on the boxes and everything like yeah, that. Yeah, we'd have to come in ourselves and physically ourselves, do that. Ourselves, yeah. Um, and we won't would, be able to take home samples unless we like bring it back yeah so i feel like they're not quite as custom as i'd like them to be but as far as like uh what they did do right is they did have uh modeling studios photography studios in-house in fact they had a bunch of models that were there while we were there and they mistook they thought for i was a model <laughs> Which was like so flattering because the models that were there were like really hot. Like there were these gorgeous European. All right, she doesn't realize how cute she actually is. And you really shouldn't be surprised. Here in this part of the world, if you're European, you're exotic. Like these girls looked like, imagine like an anime character that's white and blonde. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Also, I'd like to point out that we're having this conversation in front of cows. In front of cows. <laughs> look, 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 look! I was just thinking that. That's why there's cows, and there's cows. Did you zoom in on the baby one? Yeah. Baby cows. <laughs> so I felt like, you know, they were streamlined, not to the point where they couldn't do hyper custom work um, with, yeah. you know, with Partis' stuff. There might need to be that. Um, I, there was a little bit of flexibility, but it wasn't it wasn't what I expected. Like I can't. But I also was ex I also felt good about some of the stuff that they were able to do, like. Um, Like I liked the 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 fabrics that they were able to mix fabrics together. Like one thing that I appreciated was that they could be flexible in some of the design aspect in a way that I wasn't expecting. Like like um, on the website, it didn't say that they were able to do those gold clasp things, mm -hmm. and I really like those gold clasps. Like I love gold look. I love gold. Like I see, I wear gold. That's my favorite metal look and it, it works with my skin my skin color so um they were able to do that like the gold stuff and then um the the material that they would use for it i really liked and then i also liked that they had velvet that they do work with velvet oh i'm a sucker for velvet and the oh, yeah. velvet bathing suits and that you could weave in prints together with the velvet well, and one of the things I did discover, um, or got reinforced here, is that despite having a few good fabrics, they were very limited, right? 
Um, yeah. And she basically said, like, if you want that type of variety, you got to go to China. Otherwise, all your stuff is going to get, like, stuck in customs if you try to ship it in. Like, yeah, she said nobody actually got their fabrics through. Like, there was a number of people tried to bring... She said only 70... Uh, she said 70% of people that tried to get fabrics in, all their stuff got held up in customs and they never saw it. They never saw their fabrics. They tried to bring fabrics from other countries to Indonesia and they never saw their fabrics. That's so, crazy. Yeah. There, the amount of workaround people have to do with Indonesian law is hilarious. Like, even in that meeting, like, I won't even go through it. But There's a few loopholes. There, there were several loopholes. It's just like the, it's like the only way to do business here is through loopholes. But I will say, they, they did have strategies in place and the way their company was structured to, to uh, kind of reduce the bottom line for their customers like to bring down the price quite a bit. They structured themselves in certain ways to be able to do that. I don't know if you want to explain that or not, but. The, they structured things. Like being uh, a US company. Yeah. No, no, I won't explain it. Sorry. Sorry, you're just gonna have to live the rest of your life in suspense. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and now you have to keep living in suspense because me and Andrew are going to discuss Andrew's thing which I will never tell you so you have to keep living in suspense until it's, you just have to keep watching my stuff in pure suspense and just watch every little thing so you can maybe find a clue what it is and share it like it and share it and watch it <laughs> and we're going to discuss it Okay, bye. Do you want to add anything else, baby? No. I'm good. Okay. Okay, cool. We're going to enjoy our Starbucks, and then we're going to spend the rest of our time in Changu. And we're actually, we're in Denpasar now, so we're going to, like, explore, maybe explore Denpasar a little bit, and go to Changu later. Going beautiful, man. Sorry. So I just want to show you where we're staying in Denpasar. We're staying in Denpasar, not Changu. Is we just like came inside, came in here. This is like the courtyard area. We just came in from outside. It's so peaceful, even though we're in like there's other fish. Hello, 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 hello. hello. <laughs> That's so funny. So, yeah, it's really pretty. It's like book chill area. This is so nice. Peace. Yeah, let's hang out here a little bit next to the water. How peaceful. I love this. And so it's a really nice area. $16 for the night. And it's right by the beach, right by the boardwalk, like where we wanted. It's a very busy area, but this is like a little bit tucked away and very quiet. It's really pretty. And I really appreciate that we get to do this after a busy day of visiting manufacturers and tomorrow we're going to be visiting even more manufacturers so um now we're just gonna go to a restaurant eat a lot come home watch a movie and go to sleep and then continue tomorrow i'm just gonna show you the staircase to go to the room this is Oh look, there's a, there's, a, what is this? What does this go to? Wow. It's so pretty. This goes up to the shrine. This is gorgeous. How beautiful. Wow. This is so nice. So pretty. I really like this. I love this feeling of like being in the center of the city and you can um, have access to everything that you want but you still have quiet and peace when you come home and not a lot of noise, you know. It's very nice. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go back down. This is what I it's very steep. So we're gonna go back down here and then go up the stairs.
Hello. And this is our room. Andrew's flip flops right here. Alright. This is the room. There's my beautiful man sleeping on the bed. <laughs> and ta -da. We have AC tonight. We have we have AC, we have a quiet room. Babe, there's like a whole like lounging area with the books. Did you notice that? Yeah, it's like a quiet lounge area with the just with a waterfall and books and first thing first, let's get some food. Okay, <laughs> let's do that. Yeah. Should we close oh there's no key. Okay. Alright. So we're gonna walk over to our destination, which is a Greek restaurant. And I'm so hungry. So excited to eat. so nice to be like like a little bit detached from the road mm -hmm. yeah sorry about the vertigo dude. take a break? yeah oh these are so pretty these are very pretty oh wow yeah yeah maybe we should spend a little time down here yeah walk around a little bit yeah, look at that. How pretty is that? It's Happy pretty. hour. Yes. Money exchange, barbershop. Is this a good price? 70k for a beer style? No. No? It's good. Wow, look at this. It's like a, it's like a movie in there. Turn right? Yep. Okay. What does this remind you of, babe? Honestly, Shanghai. Really? Yeah. Like certain side streets in Shanghai? Yeah? Yeah. Shanghai sounds so cool. Do you want to go to China? Yeah. That's so funny. There's a white person on wearing Indonesian clothing. I've seen a few of those today. Husband daycare service. Did you see that? That husband, free husband daycare service. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, watch where you're going. Okay. drug do you think that was? Just a lifetime. Hello? It's me. Hello. I think we're... It's working? Yeah, like, cause I guess a lot of people are working. Sorry, I guess every, a lot of people are working a lifetime, but maybe working, um, working something, a job they don't like. 
Yeah. Is it here? Uh, I think it's up here. Okay. I feel like we've also been a little spoiled because we're around a lot of like expats all the time. Yeah. So. Oh my god. Babe, do you feel like the vibe? Oh yeah, I really hope it doesn't get me. It's like, it's supposedly okay if it's less than like 10 or 15 seconds, but... Isn't it like 3 or 5 seconds or something like that? Oh, I'm gonna double check. But I'm actually gonna double check and cut it out from my thing. That's a very pretty restaurant in there. That's pretty inside. It's like co covered. And you could see through the thing. Right, right, look in there. Here's where we take a right. I think okay. here's where we take a right. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Whoa, this place is so different than the rest. This is so different than Ubud, so different than Changu. This is another beast. Dan Pasar. Don't copyright Kebab Empire. That looks so good. Do you want to go to Kebab Empire? The Greek place? Super fun. Okay. J4 Hotel. That looks pretty. not feel safe. Nope. This feels like... I just... Anyways, yeah. Sorry, what were you, what were you saying? Let's go. Alright, you want to pull out your map soon? Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is the place. Oh, this is so cute. Insane! <laughs> Our mall at night. The beach walk. That's the beach. And there's some random person doll. What are they doing? They're like twerking. It's cool. Candy Licious. Uh, Michael Kors. What? Can we go outside? It's a better shot for me. Yeah? Wanna take a picture here? Mm -hmm. Good film. Take a picture here, like this. There's Andrew. He's like filming the fish. It's a really big fish actually. <laughs> So today we're gonna go to the bomb memorial. There's a bomb memorial here because there was a bomb from Daesh made a bomb in here in Bali, like a few years back, and they made a memorial. And there's a restaurant right by the bomb memorial called Ground Zero Restaurant. <laughs> it's crazy. Like imagine if there's a Ground Zero Restaurant in Manhattan. Like that's they made a restaurant about the bomb. So we're gonna go there for breakfast. And in the meantime, we're taking pictures. I wish we could have spent some time in this little reading nook. It's so cute. I'm gonna ask Andrew to take a picture of me. For my Instagram feed, because my whole Instagram feed is pictures of Andrew. <laughs> okay, okay, Andrew. Andrew is going to feed the fishes. He's giving them fish food.
They're so big. <laughs> They're so big, I can't believe it. The thing I love about Bali is that there's flower trees everywhere and these flowers. Should I be bringing this with me? Since we're not bringing our... It's fine, I'll just bring it. Okay. Yeah, so <laughs> it's my bag with all my toiletries. But there's flowers always falling everywhere. So it's just so everywhere you go, there's flowers falling on you. And like this one just fell on our head. Of course, I'm going to put it in my hair. The memorial, that's the ground zero memorial. The bomb. So baby, what happened here? A bomb. A bomb? Yep. What, what were they trying to accomplish with the bomb? What was Daesh trying to accomplish? I know, I'll tell you. Yeah. They were sure, trying to scare away the sexy tourists that dress so sexy. Yes. <laughs> but it didn't work. Obviously, it didn't work. It didn't work because Bali is like the biggest tourist, sexy tourist place. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Yeah, everyone's excited to see us. So that's the restaurant. That's the Ground Zero restaurant right there with the leaves hanging. Uh, hello. So that's the that's the restaurant that we're gonna go to the Ground Zero Kitchen. Uh oh, the breakfast. Hello. Oh. I'm sitting here in the Ground Zero restaurant, and Andrew is telling me about the Ground Zero attack and the history of JI and like the attacks that they've been doing. And I'm just learning so much. Am I gonna get copyrighted from this? I don't think so. No. I think this is just like a dance room mix of uh, some stock music. Yeah. Uh, Hopefully. Yeah. Well, so J.I. or Jema Islamia um, was just an Islamist terrorist group that detonated a bomb across the street in 2002. And then recently in Malaysia, there was another attack while we were here, um, and there's some police officers who uh, they're killed. I want to say three of them, I might be wrong, but the attacker claimed J.I., but now it's coming out of the news that it was a lone wolf attack. It was a lone wolf attack against, uh... Yeah, which is like a total... Uh, is it like anti-expats, anti-expat immigration, or... I think it's probably like anti-infidel type of... Yeah, anti and Oh, thanks. To, Thank you so much. You'd have to like read into it more and, and study it exactly. But the area, the 2002 bombings here were, um, there's like 88 Australians killed. Wow. Uh, like, uh, yeah, there's also, every, most of the expats here are Australian. Yeah, so they set it off in a tourist heavy area. And then one of the bombs, there's two bombs detonated. Four? Four bombs detonated. One was a backpack, uh, two vehicles, I believe, and then uh, another smaller one that was detonated outside the U.S. Embassy. Whoa. Uh, at the same time, it was coordinated attack. Uh, yeah, yeah I, never, I never saw and thought I would be here or see this. Like, I remember reading about it, you know, as I was studying, but never, never thinking I would, like, be here to see this. Yeah. Man. I forgot to film our delicious, gigantic breakfast. We just watched a bunch of more, we just visited a bunch of more stores, wholesale, retail, like a bunch of stuff. Yep. What do you think, baby? Manufacturers? I think it's important to actually look at clothes, look at what you're buying. You learn a lot about it, you see unexpected things, like you just, little things you just can't find online. Little pieces of information. Ah. You okay? Yeah, I just walked into a hole. A bamboo pole. But yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I feel like my, what I want to sell keeps changing. 
I keep changing my mind because it's like I thought I wanted to sell like more heavy material that's like fancy and nice and queenish and then I put it on and I really liked how it looked but I just felt it felt so heavy and formal and I didn't feel comfortable I couldn't see myself actually wanting to wear it and do stuff and the thing is I want to sell stuff that I want to wear because I want to mark I, I, I want to be involved in the marketing yeah and that's really informed by I mean the experience of walking around this neighborhood too right like yeah. it's a little more hot and wearing light clothing more comfortable clothing is more important to you right now right yeah it's very hot I uh, like we, we, we just went to look at like a bunch of fancy, sexy clothing shops and the clothing that I feel like I'd want to wear the most is that last place where it was just very, uh, very simple. comfy, simple, like dresses, tops, bottoms, bathing suit stuff, like I don't know. Alright, should we keep looking at this area? If you want. <sighs> Seminyak. What? Oh, Taco Tuesday. 